Welcome to Rise Up Namabia. So in this video, we're going to be looking at quadratic trinomials by Matt Yanata aka the resistor of bad and the love of good. Hashtag dark and lovely underscore walk by faith and not by sight. So, first of all, before we get into quadratic trinomials or examples, I would like us to look at two things. The first one is finding factors of a number. For example, 12. So, let's have a look of how to find factors of a number. So, we use two rules, okay? So, rule number one, we write one and the number of which we are like asked to find factors of. So, in this instance, it's 12. So, we write one and then space and then 12. The rule number two is to start looking for numbers that divide exactly into 12 without a reminder. So, we start with two. What is 12 divided by 2? We get 6, okay? Now, since 6 is like a whole number, doesn't have any reminder, we write the 2, this side, and we write the 6 on the other side, okay? And then we move on. What is 12 divided by 3? It's equals to 4. So, given that 4 is a whole number, we write the 3, this side, and we write the 4 on the other side. Now, when we say 12 divided by 4, this is like a tricky part because it gives us 3. Okay? 12 divided by 4 gives us 3. Now, when you look in the list of numbers, we already have a 3 and a 4. Hmm? It's just like turned around, but in all cases, once you see this, it means you have found all factors of that number. So, all factors of 12 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6 and 12, okay? Now, when it comes to quadratic trinomials, we use the same factors. But to make things easier, I would advise you to do this. To pair them, okay? Always start with 1 and the number itself. So, in this instance, it was 12. So, we start with 1 and 12. So, we pair them. And then we move on. When we divided 12 by 2, we got 6. Which means 2 and 6 like, are also factors. So we pair those two. Okay? Now when we divided 12 by 3, we got this 4. Which means these two are also a pair. Okay? Now what, what does it mean to be like a pair? It's just like when you times 3 times 4, it's 12. When you times 2 times 6, it's also 12. When you times 1 times 12, it's also 12. So I just like to pair them, because when you pair them like this, it makes it easier to work with when you are working with quadratic trinomials, okay? So let's look at the second thing. Before we look at the second thing, if you don't know what is a factor and how to find all factors of a number, don't worry. I'll put a link down below in the description where you can follow and have a look at a full video that explains what a factor is and how to find all factors of a number. Good. The second thing I wanted us to look at before we check out the examples is this. So a quadratic trinomial looks like this. And mind you, in this video, we are only going to be looking at quadratic trinomials that has a leading coefficient as 1. Okay? So here will only be x squared. No other number. No other larger number than 1. Good. So the second thing I wanted us to look at is this. What does it mean when there is a positive sign over here? Hmm? It means find a pair of factors of C that has a sum of B. So factors of this number that will be at C, that when you add them, because it's a positive sign or a addition sign, when you add them, it gives you B which is the number that will be here. What does it mean when you have a negative sign or a subtraction sign here? It means find a pair of factors of C, which is the C, that when subtracted gives you the answer for B. Okay? So if you don't understand what I just explained here, don't worry. You will we'll check into like examples that will enlighten your understanding. Okay? So let's look at example number one, which is something like this. 
you know, you can be given something like this and then it says factorize. So what do we do? Number one, we look at C. Now remember, when it's a quadratic trinomial, the first number here is always like A. Now our A here is a 1. And then we have B. Our B here is a 7. So, and then we have C. Our C here is a 10. Now, first, we always look for the factors of C. In this case, which is 10. What are all the factors of 10? Hmm? And then we pair them. Now, those factors of 10, just to make life easy, we pair them. Okay? So what do we do after we pair them? We look at the sign next to the 10. What sign is it? It's a positive sign or an addition sign. What does it mean? It means which pair of factors of 10 can be added to give, like, or to get positive 7. Which positive 7 are we talking about? We are talking about this positive 7 over here. So which pair of factors hmm, of 10 can be added to give you a positive 7. So, and then you look at your pairs. Hmm, 1 plus 10, it gives you what? It gives you an 11. Now, 2 plus 5 gives you 7. So, your 2 plus 5 gives you 7. So, what do you do next? Let me just rewrite this, because here we've drawn some stuff on it. So, what you do is, you bring out your two closed brackets like this, okay? Now, since our leading coefficient here is 1, hmm? or it's just x squared, there's no 2, 3, or 5, it's just x squared. What you do is, 1x, you bring in one uh, close bracket here, and then the other x you bring down below here, okay? Just like that, okay? Now, you look at the pair of factors. Which pair of factors, when you added them, gave you positive 7? It was 2 plus 5. So it's a positive 2 and a positive 5. So you bring the positive 2 to one closed bracket. And then you bring the positive 5 to the other closed bracket. And just like that, you have found your answer for the first example. Okay? Let's look at example number 2. What do you do when you have a question like this and you are told to factorize? Number 1. Let's find all factors and pair, like, all factors of 15. Hmm? So, these are the paired factors of 15. Hmm? What do we do next? We look at the sign. What sign is next to the 15? This time around, it's like a negative sign or a minus sign. What does it mean? Which pair of factors of 15, hmm? this 15, can be subtracted to give us negative 2. So now when we look at this pairs of 15, hmm, which one can be subtracted to give us a negative 2? So let me just rewrite this. Okay, so now when we look at 15, it's a bit too far. So we look at this 3 and 5, okay? Because it's a bit closer to negative 2. Now, when we say 5 minus 3, we get 2. 2 is wrong. Why is it wrong? It's wrong because it's a positive 2. We need a negative 2 because our B here is a negative 2. Okay? So we need to get an answer which is negative 2. So we swipe it. Instead of it being 5 minus 3, we say 3 minus 5. What answer do we get? Because here, guys, you always need to test your pairs. Hmm? Test your pairs until you get the right answer for B, okay? Which is negative 2. Now, when you say 3 minus 5, you get a negative 2, which is the right answer, okay? So what do you do now? You bring out your two closed brackets, and because the leading coefficient here is 1, you bring one x in down here, and you bring the other x down below here, and then... You look at your paired factors that gave you the right answer, like which is negative 2. Now here we have a positive 3 and a negative 5. So you write that 
plus 3 in one bracket and uh, minus 5 in the other closed bracket like this okay so this positive 3 came here and this negative 5 is the one here and just like that you have found your answer okay so let's look at another example so this example is a bit tricky and knocks out a lot of students so pay attention okay so what do we do let's find all factor pairs for 40 okay mind you these are all the factors of 40 but just paired hmm? okay what do i mean when i say paired like when i say pair is less like two pairs of factors that when you multiply them gives you the number 40 like 1 times 40 equals to 40 2 times 20 equals to 40 4 times 10 also equals to 40 and 5 times 8 also equals to 40 now when we find them let's look at the sign next to the 40 is it a addition sign or a subtraction sign it's an addition or a positive sign so what does it tell us it's like which two factors or factor pairs of 40 can be added to give us negative 41 which negative 41 are we talking about we are talking about the negative 41 which is over here okay at b hmm? this is negative 41 okay good so now we look at our pairs and we start testing them out you know sometimes just by looking at the pairs you can tell which one is close to or around 41 which is 1 and 40 hmm? now by saying 40 plus 1 we get 41 but this 41 is wrong because it's like a positive 41 so what do we do for us to get a negative 41 hmm? we swipe and we make it negative 40 plus negative 1 for us to get a negative 41 okay now since these two factors like are right let's have a look what we do we bring out our two close brackets we bring out and then we bring down the x's because the leading coefficient is one and there's only x squared we bring one x to one close bracket here and then we bring the other x down here and then now take a close look here because the factors that got the right answer which is negative 41 were negative 40 plus negative 1 we write the negative 40 in one bracket and the negative 1 in the other bracket you understand so always like be aware of this once your like your second term is a negative answer or a negative number like for example minus 41 and your third term is plus a number like plus 40 you will you will always be required to to use this method here where you'll need to change um the two pairs that you find that gives you the right answer but the answer will be like a positive and then you'll need to change them to negative by changing the two pairs to negative numbers like what we did here okay so here i've given you test questions for you guys to try out Feel free to pause the video and try them out and see if you can get the right answer. Okay, so here are the answers. So if you've got any question, feel free to hit it down below in the comment section. Okay? Thank you all for watching. Please do like, subscribe, turn on that notification button to be the first to see the next upload. Share! with friends, family, and classmates. And remember, together, we rise to higher heights. Apart, we all stay behind. Cheers.